मेरे पेरेंट्स ने मुझे सपना देखना सिखाया और मेरे इंस्ट्रक्टर्स ने मुझे सिखाया कि सपने को पूरा कैसे करना है है मेरी जमी अफसोस नहीं जो तेरे लिए सौ दर्द सहे महफूज रहे तेरी आन सदा चाहे जान मेरी ये रहे न रहे ಹೇಮಂತ್ Hemant welcome to the shoot thank you sir could you please introduce yourself to the viewers please yeah hello everybody myself hemant and i recently got recommended for nda 148 and i am currently staying in davangri with my parents and i am a student of sidganga pu college i am in second puc right now he he was our current student outgoing student of our college so he has cracked the nda examination and uh, let us know what is this examination and how how anybody who is aspirant to be an nda credit how is supposed to go to Uh, Hemant, could you please share us that uh, how anybody can join an NDA? What is the screening? What is the schedule that uh, somebody has to undergo? Could you please share it with our audience? So the minimum requirement for joining NDA is a person should be 12th pass. That is, he must have the uh, basic knowledge about everything. And uh, there are multiple states and the selection ratio of NDA is really hard. It is the sixth toughest institute in the whole world to get inside. So there are four stages particularly. First is a written examination. once who crack the written examination go through the ssb screening after that we have the medical test then the merit and then finally out of 8 lakh students around 390 to 380 members finally go into the nda so this is the entire process friends as you just heard uh, uh, hemant uh, introduce himself now let us know what are the stages that somebody has to go through when they uh, crack the nda he mentioned in his introduction that uh, he has underwent the entrance examination let us first know what do you mean by that entrance exam when that entrance exam will be held and who is the conducting body and what are the tough stages that a student has to undergo when he cracks the entrance. Himan, could you please share your experience regarding attending the entrance exam? That's the first stage of uh, somebody who is going for NDA. Sure, sir. Could you please tell us to our viewers? So, NDA exam is a national all India level exam. Uh, from, so, candidates from entire India apply for this exam and write. So, centers are all across India. in the written examination there are two stages that is a paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is for maths of 300 marks and paper 2 is of gat that is general ability test it is for 600 marks so you nda exam is conducted by upsc so upsc is an organization who conducts the examination for recruiting the grade a officers into the government and the defense forces so after the one who has to get into an officer rank he must go through a upsc examination so you who want to work under the union of government okay so yeah it work it they it works that way okay the fact is guys uh, he started discussing about the entrance examination i would just like to tell our viewers or the students who are watching us friends you know whenever you complete your 12th standard most of you go behind uh, the iit the cet the neat examination or the primary degrees and all but there are some candidates like heman swami are there who dream big and who actually go ahead and uh, become a soldier of a country 
and uh, to attain that as he mentioned that there were entrance examination and there was a specific syllabus for it and the exam will be very tough that he has to crack more than 8 lakh students attend this examination and only 8000 will able to approximately only 8000 will able to crack the entrance examination Heman, could you please tell us our viewer that uh, in the entrance examination what was the syllabus and how did you made yourself to prepare for that so as you said sir the difficulty level of nda is on a different level correct as they are by year by year more and more aspirants are joining into that as it is a golden opportunity for a candidate in the 12th appearing only, he is getting a, such a great job. Correct. So, more and more people are attracted towards this. So, the competition is con constantly increasing. Okay. So, in this, there are the syllabus consists of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. So, it is a uh, compilation of all these classes. So, in the paper 1 specifically, that is for mathematics, that is for 300 marks, and there are 120 questions. And it is morely focused upon the 11th and 12th. It is not as comparatively tough to the NEET and J as we see the math, but it is like what is the uh, play over here is as the number of questions are way more and the time is constant mm -hmm. so the time is the biggest constant in the entire mathematic exam 2.5 hours is given to 120 questions so like there are really le less time for each question to attend okay so you need to play with the mind and you need to be quick in solving the problems that's a maths examination that's for the maths examination as it is just for the 11th and 12th if a uh, candidate is uh, clear with all the 10th 11th 12th concept Maths is uh, not that sorted. tough. Maths can be Maths sorted. sorted. Okay. Yeah. For the GAT, is, as I told, the GAT full form is general ability test. GAT consists of 150 questions and it is for 600 marks. So in that 150 questions, 50 questions are primarily for English. So in English, we have that English consists of all the questions for grammar and uh, all the f phrases and verbs and all different sorts of uh, things which we come across English. So 50 questions are dedicated towards that. And in the next 100 question, like they are bifurcated into the two, that is social science and science. So in social science, another four are there, that is history, civics, political science and geography. And in science, we know that it is biology, chemistry and physics. So one must have the entire complete uh, diverse knowledge of all the subjects if you want to, want to crack the NDA. As I was a science student, social was a real bit of a problem to me. I started preparing for that. As my mates used to study for science, I was used to study for social science, so they used to laugh at me also. Correct, okay. <laughs> that is because a different stream. Okay. And if one does not succeed into going to India, that knowledge, like, and the time wastage is also high. So correct, correct. There is a very big risk factor when you are putting into, when you are planning for NDA. Yes, yes. So it goes that way, and the syllabus for the GAT comes from, coming from 6 to uh, 12, they can ask from anywhere. And I would say that NDA syllabus is never ending. You cannot complete the NDA syllabus. It is very discreet and very randomly they can ask any topic from any part of the book. They say NCRT is good, but NCRT also it's not falls enough. short. Okay, it's not it enough. falls short for uh, NDA examination. NCRT is considered to be one among the greatest book which con uh, completely co collects all the data and put into a simple form. Correct. Even that falls short in front of NDA. So it is on that level. As it is a UPSC exam, uh, the pattern is very irregular. So they may ask question from, uh, if they are asking a question from a particular topic from, uh, in the first exam, they, you can't expect that the same portion would come in the second exam also. Well, I mean uh, the upcoming uh, year's exam. It is uh, really discreet and it uh, frequently varies time to time. So that is the difficulty factor over there. So friends, I think, uh, let me just brief that out. He has underwent that examination. And a very important point I would like to make a, a note here to the viewers is he was presently studying in Siddhaganga. He was a science student. He was first PUC and second PUC presently following up the academics. At the same time, he was giving himself a time uh, to study for the NDA examination, the written examination, which was considered as one of the toughest one as he mentioned. Uh, so after this uh, entrance examination got over, I remember he uh, mentioned it, sir. I we cleared the. I just attended the entrance examination to best of my abilities. Okay. I remember Jayan sir had called me once and informed that uh, Ravi sir, your student uh, Heman Swami has cracked the written exa written examination. And what is the journey later? Let us know from the Heman himself. Heman, could you please share our audience that when you first uh, got to know that you have cracked the entrance examination, and how did you know that the entrance examination was cracked and your name is selected for uh, the next stage? Could you please tell our viewers about it? So the result out for the UPSC exams is a bit different from as we see the NTC examination results. Correct, it is okay. a bit different. In If you want to check your result, so you need to go to the UPSC website and you need to download the website. 
uh, download a PDF from the website and they recommend uh, and the candidates who have cleared the written examination they put forward their roll numbers over there and no marks is uh, displayed over there you just know that you have just cleared the written examination that is all you know how you are cleared or not cleared the written examination after you knowing that you have cleared the written examination there are many further stages in the journey for the selection which takes place in the coming time so that is the way a person gets to know whether he has cleared or not so we was uh, so he had written the examination and there was one fine day he got to know that his name was selected there was a huge pdf that he downloaded uh, let me just tell you for the audience and it is it is like a bubbles in your heart you know that somebody is matching up all the numbers so yes, there was a huge number i guess yes it is an application number, number or a register eight number eight digit number eight digit number that he is matching up and guys 8 lakh student had appeared for the examination and only 8000 had cracked it and our himan swami was one, one among them let me just put a point across here that he is the only karnatakan candidate who cracked the nda 148 yeah 148 examination number only and he is the only one karnatakan who cracked the nda written examination but this is not all the journey is still long way to go he is going to share with us himan once you got to know that you have cracked the written examination Uh, everybody everywhere the celebration began but it was not a real celebration it's not a real yeah it is only cracking the first stage i guess could you please tell our audience that once uh, the entrance examination was cracked and you were mentioning me before this interview uh, during a conversation there is something called call up letter yes sir right. so the call up letter had come to you and what was that call up letter is all about where you went after writing the entrance examination cracking the entrance examination where you went and what is the second stage could you yeah. please tell our viewers about call up letter sure sir so the second stage of the selection process is the interview mm-hmm. once a candidate cracks the written examination his name is in the pdf and he gets a call up letter call up letter for the ssb ssb is full form is service selection board service selection board yeah so ssb is an institute which uh, undermines and which screens out the candidate who are uh, fit for the armed forces okay. so if a person wants to become a officer into the defense forces he must go to the ssb and there are multiple ssb across india and ssb to be uh, frank it is just focus more on the army okay so and if you are interested into air force and if you are aiming for air force and your priority is air force then one gets afsb that is air force selection board air force selection board so the working of afsb and ssb is the uh, exact same but just the name has put forward as they are more uh, into their specific field correct okay and if the person is applying for navy he gets a nsb call and that is stands for that is navy selection board navy selection board okay. so they are like discrete for all the three forces they have their own boards so there are uh, there are around 4 to 5 afsb in the entire india so a person clears the written examination and his first priority is air force so he may get uh, any one center randomly he may get any uh, of the one center from entire india so in the call up letter comes after a month my exam uh, written examination held in uh, month of november november okay and my result were out by december okay i knew that in the month of december i knew that i had cracked the written examination after that uh, uh, i had a buffer time of around 2 months after that i had uh, my interview uh, in gandhinagar i had got a call up letter for 3 afsb gandhinagar in gujarat so 3 afsb is one among the biggest and the newest boards which has been established recently by government of india that's a great one i was really pleasurized that i had got such a good uh, board and the city also was unexplored by me so the excitement was even better so once i got cleared as i was really excited also to give my interview as i knew the written examination was more of a theoretical one and uh, ssb is more of uh, to be honest is more of a personality test you can't prepare for ssb correct correct so it must be uh, from the person itself whether he, if he has it from inside from the childhood itself ssb is not that tough for what ssb demands is that a personal must have a good personality and there is a thing called as 15 olqs okay so olq stands for officers like qualities <laughs> so it is not a official one like they check that but if a person has that 15 olq so that is a preferred one okay a candidate must inculcate that 15 olq that <laughs> olq may go like effective intelligence okay you have like a way of conversation good communication skills solving the problem yeah, solving the problem effort, leadership quality yeah, leadership quality so like all you this have courage correct, and you correct. have stamina these all are the olqs correct if a person have this he can go through that and the second thing what ssb demands is communication skills and the way of socializing with people you cannot be a nerd in front of them you correct. must be strong bold and you must be confident enough to put your point forward okay it's not like 
you are unnecessarily speaking in front of anybody but you must have that courage to put your own point and you must be bold in standing in uh, the case with the right one correct okay and you cannot fake anything in front of ssb okay if you try to fake in front of ssb the next 5 days they are going to screw you up okay. and they check whether the person is lying or not and they uh, match it and they are going to select it further so, so viewers i think uh, we got to know that uh, heman cracked the written examination and he traveled all the way to gujarat gandhinagar to attend the 5 days uh, entrance and out of 8000 there were 250 students or the group of 250s will be sent across different parts of india and he was one among 250 who was sent to, to gujarat so in once he reached to the gujarat uh, could you please share us what is your journey experience like you traveled all the way there yeah. and once you reach out to the station then how it exactly happened with you heman so yes sir so when i got to know about my written examination i had a month of two months so i was uh, ex- gathering the excitement slowly that i need to travel now correct okay and i started packing also as we know that ssb there are multiple tests so there are uniform code for each test oh so i started uh, shopping and i started correct, purchasing correct, okay. stuff so, so you, you that, want to take all the, uh, the appropriate dress that all is required the appropriate dress code which they ask correct, so correct, like okay. in the normal training you have need to wear formals and in the gto you need to have a proper uniform that is you need to have wear a white t-shirt white shorts white socks and white shoes oh ho you need to be in proper white nice, nice and there okay. is a significance behind this dress code also okay as gto is a outdoor series they check whether the person can stay keep himself clean okay so that is the reason white we know that white gets dirty very easily very so true too, okay. and that is like a physical you need to go outside and you need to do the task in the uh, field itself mm-hmm. so that is the point where they check that is also a way of so there will be a logic behind everything that the yes. nda totally case, totally So, so audience i think it started uh, that way yes, okay, and nice. later i travel from downgate to ahmedabad correct as my dad is into logistics i have traveled many cities prior mm-hmm. in this also but ahmedabad was the unexplored one correct. so i went there and i travel uh, i saw looked into the city the people were really sweet and they were speaking their local language gujarati gujarati yeah, okay and i didn't the understand dokla, the yeah, the the khadwa yeah, exactly. you know okay I did understand much, but still I was able to manage through, and I tried the cuisine also. They were really good. Nice. Okay. So after from Ahmedabad, I went to Guj- uh, Gandhi Nagar. As we don't have a direct connecting train from uh, Dawangri to Guj- Gandhi Nagar. Okay. When I went to Gandhi Nagar, uh, I met my mates who are going to be the SSB mates in further. The the few among uh, the few 250. among them. Okay. Out of the two fifty, I met them few before only, as they had also arrived that uh, that the for same the day for the end, okay. for the screening process. Okay. They also had come, so we just socialized and we shared a few words, ideas and knowledge. Okay. Yeah, we shared and we got to know about each other. Because now, once you meet your friends, they will know be a particular the topic that you are going to share it each other. Yes, because you don't know what topic you are going to go yes, under. Yes, right? Totally. So you just uh, shared your knowledge and all. We just uh, exchanged a few words and we got to know about each other. So this way, the journey was smooth. Then later, my reporting for the AFSB was around at six thirty on twenty first of February. The morning six thirty. In the morning six thirty. Okay. So you need to get uh, dressed properly. Well, you need to be in entire formals, and you need to take your luggage, and you need to report at a point where they say you to come. Okay. Once you report over there, uh, Air Force bus come from the AFSB itself with the, all the officials and all. Right. Nice. They come and they pick you up and go. Okay. And uh, after they pick you up, they take you to the AFSB, and the AFSB is really beautiful, and you have the marbles building and all. Okay. So this way, your travel keep on traveling from the city which you are coming to the uh, reporting point. Prior to the reporting point, you must be there as they prefer that uh, on the spot when you come. There may be some glitches in the journey that you are late or you are fast and so. So they advise the candidates to come a day prior. So. When you can oh. come a day prior, you can also explore the city at correct, the same time. Correct, correct, correct. So correct. it's that way. So it's not the same day that you underwent uh, yes, the yes. exam. The next day it was there. Next day. So you went on comfortably and reached out to the yes. Gandhi Nagar. Yes. So uh, we was the first day. He re- he went on to Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat, and uh, that's when the next day, the five day journey began on a selection process. And uh, this is very ex- interesting one. And uh, I I want all our viewers to listen to him sharing his experience on those five days journey. Himan, could you please tell us what happened with you on the first day? what was the 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 test that you underwent on the first day so the first day was on the 21st feb 21st feb he remembers the date yeah. very appropriately okay <laughs> because that is a true, most true, significant yes. part no? okay so when on 6:30 we had our reporting on round so all around 250 members had reported at the same place all were informal we were a bit nervous as we all were going to compete with each other for getting recommended correct 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 and correct. mostly we know that ki we need to be strong enough and bold enough you cannot be nervous in front of the officers who are looking at you correct correct you need to be tough and bold and you need to be on time and even a minute up or so 
they put a bad impression on you correct correct so at 6:30 when you report they check all your forms and in the call up letter which i mentioned previously there are uh, many forms which one has to fill prior going to the ssb they go and they check all the necessary documents which a person needs if he fulfills all that then he is uh, took inside the bus and they take you to the afsb okay so on the day one around 250 come as it is morning 630 they go, take you to afsb and they serve you breakfast okay after you do the breakfast the screening process starts so day one is called as a screening test okay so in the screening test there are two tests the one is the oir test that is also called as a verbal and non verbal test you may say what do you did you say o o i r test o i r test okay so that is officers intelligent rating test okay in that there is a ranking given to a candidate from 1 to 5 mm -hmm. like one standing the best and five standing the least okay so if a person is oir one that means that he has a great iq yes, extraordinary yeah. performances right? extraordinary performance and he has a basic knowledge to solve the verbal and non verbal questions correct okay yeah. okay so there are two sets of question paper given consisting of 50 questions each as is a time constraint of 17 minute you need to be really quick in solving those questions so 50 50 questions are done after the oir test is done we will go way ahead to the ppt test session okay ppt she stands for per picture perception and descriptive test okay in that a blur and hazy picture is shown for you for 30 seconds on the screen everybody are made to sit on a conference hall and all the 250 members look at the same picture for 30 seconds and we need to analyze the picture within 30 seconds and we need to frame a story in next 3 minutes okay so in my case they showed us a blur and hazy picture of a accident one could uh, it was around 75% blur correct okay little bit you can get the idea of looking at the picture so looking uh, everybody has their own perception one must look into that and write a story very really quickly as 3 minute is really less to write a story of around half a page so after writing that story everybody are taken into the conference hall where the group of around 20 members candidates are made and three assessors sit in front of you one must narrate the story himself boldly and confidently so that he addresses the entire group and the assessor and he clearly tells his point and story what he perceived and what thinks that has happening in the story okay one must frame a story revolving around himself or the character he like there is a uh, in my as i told that the uh, accident has taken place i made it revolved around the story like a person is saving a, a person who had a uh, 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 undergone an accident so okay. i made a story revolving around that you need to put in yourself into that position and check whether what would you do in that situation if that was in the real life this way we did and after the uh, narration is done as everybody has written the story on the same picture correct different people may have different perception on the same story as it is a blur one so everybody put forward their own ideas and a common story is brought up that is the really intense and the toughest part as everybody try to preach their own ideas and preach their own point and everybody nobody is ready to listen to other so it becomes correct, sometimes correct. it becomes like a fish market also <laughs> one must really handle and even you need to address all the other candidates as gentlemen correct okay. so you need to respect your fellow mate and you cannot shout at them correct so the way people try to argue by respecting that is the most funny part i would say so 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 right you need to be bold and you need to have a strong tone so that you can put forward and others at least they listen to you so after everybody put the forward the point a common story is made and a person is nominated who contribute the most a person is nominated and he is told to narrate the common story for the entire group this way it takes place i was nominated fortunately from my group i was nominated i was the one who nominated because i put forward many of the points as i had good communication skills also they put me forward and they were like let me narrate the common story correct okay. this way it happened the the screening test happened so, so the first day uh, we was you all heard that there was a uh, two tests and he cracked both the tests and uh, next he has to know that is he as he cracked the first uh, day so uh, himan could you please tell us a viewer that out of those 250 the first day got over and how many got uh, you know went on with the next stage or a second day yes. could you please share the viewer there so the candidates who clear the uh, day one they are called screen in candidates and screen the candidates. others okay others are said screened out candidates screened out candidates screened okay. out one candidates. who is not selected one who is not selected okay. is called a screened out candidate okay so like around from 250 members in my board 88 got screened in only 88 only 88 got screened okay. in and other on spot they were sent out on the same day as in as in now onwards they cannot proceed to any further no, uh, they cannot out. proceed so on the first day itself out of 250 ladies and gentlemen 88 got selected and one among out, out of 88 one among them was you two yes, so that's great 
So and that process is really dis not disheartening. As a person travels from way across India, he is coming to the particular board which is assigned, and within a time span of three hours, he is told that he is not selected. That is really disheartening. They moralize and they motivate them and they send them back, send them back as they are not fit for that. Later, the screening candidates are sent inside the hall where to do the little bit of the documentation. After that, the day one ends over there itself, and the accommodation is provided by the SSB itself. Okay. And it's a really good accommodation which they provide as they are. They feel you like a celebrity, I guess. Sir. Not like a celebrity, I would say, but really more like, decent or very nice like accommodation. Yeah, sir. more likely a decent one, and not like they're no, they're treating you like a gentleman. Correct, correct, correct. correct. Is that way? But there, they treat each other by a word called gentleman. So if you are, if I am one among him, you have to treat him as gentleman. What is your opinion? Yes. So he, he will also respond me, gentleman. This is my opinion. Okay. Yes. They use that adjective called gentleman. That's so sweet. So what happened with those eighty-eight remaining ones? How the second day screening got happened? Let's know from the Himan. Himan, please share your experience on the day two when so, you went on with the next set of interviews. Please go ahead. So one after the two fifty eighty-eight are screened in. So SSB themselves provide the accommodation. Then they keep you back for the next four day screening process. So day two is called as a psychology uh, day. Psychology test. The psychology test. In that you have multiple tests called as the TAT, WAT, SRT, and SD. So TAT is thematic appreciation test. It is similar to PPTT but not same. In PPTT, as we know, we have written story and narrated. In right. this, we have around twelve pictures back to back, back to back. You need to have a really good writing speed. So back to back, thirty second uh, picture is shown. We need to write a story for three minutes. So two whole pictures simultaneously are showed one after another, and the person should frame continuously keep uh, framing story. The pictures shown there are much clearer than the PPTT one, but as it is simultaneously coming again and again, uh, the thinking process hits and whatever comes to your mind first thing is only come on the paper. So that is the thing what they want to extract from you. Okay, that is basically TAT, and the two whole picture is a blank slide. Okay, so until eleven they are showing you some pictures, but the two whole picture is just a blank slide. You must frame a story from your imagination, whatever it could be. It just to think whether you are uh, writing in a me. And this also has a why this is done. Also, this has a reason. Now, a person is writing the eleven stories. He is writing that stories in like a moderate English word, not the posh English or not. He is not using the good phrases. So he has to use yeah. the simple words so it can be understood. Yeah. Language. So he, okay. no, just for example, a person is like not very good in English, but he is like fine in English. Managing it all. Yeah, he managing. So he is writing the story in the basic English, but the twelve story as it is a many candidates prepare it from home and only come as okay. they know that on spot or this way. So the eleven stories is going moderate, but the twelve story, I can't say it is coming really good and in a posh manner. That hits again. The eleven story is coming moderate, moderate, and it is going excellent in the twelfth one. Okay. So this must never happen. The twelve story must be created on the spot, and that must show our originality over towards the process. Okay. So that is T R T T A T. Next uh, next test is called as the S R T S R T S R T situation reaction test. So 60 SRTs are put towards us. 60, 60 situations are put in a dossier form, and they are given to us. And there is no particular time limit for each, but overall collectively they put a time limit. Okay. 30 minutes time is given to write the 60 SRTs. So back to back, back to back. It's yeah. like how you react to a particular situation. Yes. That's why it is called a situation. Yes. An example, a example of situation could be like a person you are traveling in a train, and in midnight you wake up and you see that your bag is missing. Dash. Oh, such so, so kind of uh, situation. Such kind of situation. And they will check how you are going to react. Yeah. How situation. we are going to react. Okay. The reaction. You, are, you are need to uh, tell those reaction or write down we the reaction. We need to write them. We yeah. have to write the reactions. Okay. Psychology test is only for writing. Okay. okay. There is no verbal communication with any other. So that's the reason that one must have really good writing speed and legible writing. Okay. So that other people understand. Yeah, understand. True. True. Okay. So it must be that way. So in SRT, back to back, back to back, you are writing the 60 SRT. SRT complete. Next come we call it as WAT. That WAT. is the word association test. Okay. In that also a word is shown for you just for 15 second on the screen. A word is shown. You need to look at the word, think the word, and write a sentence in all in 15 second. So that is really tough, and the time limit is so less that looking at the word itself take around two three. So it takes time to register what is yeah. the word and frame of a sentence. Yeah, frame a second accordingly. So it takes time. So uh, 60 words back to back, back to back are shown to Six us. Six zero, 60. 60 words are shown back to back. Okay. You need to frame sentence quickly, and that way it continues. After framing those sentences, the the W A T work uh, completes. Next is S D. S D. S D stands for the 
सेल्फ डिक्लेरेशन सेल्फ डिक्लेरेशन सेल्फ डिक्लेरेशन और सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्शन यू मे सी ओके दैट इज बेटर सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्शन so first day is over second day is over let us know what happened with him on the third day so you could you please tell us what uh, was the situation on the third day and what is that speeding is all about yes sir so as we know the second day ends and that uh, entire process of psychology test take around 5 to 6 hours and it is a really tiring process okay as you need to sit in the same place and you need to uh, write more and more stuff okay so gradually a candidate uh, tires and uh, tires up and he falls on the bed he goes and sleep and the next day there is a interview this is called as a personal interview personal interview so in that a necessary sitting in front of you who is also an ex officer who has been into the forces uh, but he is into the ssb now mm-hmm. he takes your interview and the interview can revolve around any topic expected or unexpected it's a whole interview he is going to yeah. uh, ask you a lot of questions and you have to answer so before, it's not a question yeah. answer round but it's it is not like a question answer it's more like a interactive round interactive he round interacts round. with you and try to look into your personality whether the person is a genuine one or a not so it genuine it can revolve on anything it can revolve on your hobbies your personal life or your parents yeah. coming over yeah. that so before the interview we need to fill a form called okay. as a piq form piq form so that is a personal informational okay. information questionnaire okay in that you need to fill everything about you so whatever you are writing in that your interview revolves around that mm-hmm. so you need to be true to your words what you have written into that correct okay so it is that there is the case over there in the piq they may you may need to mention about all the sports activities you have participated all the co curricular activities you have participated your education qualification any other stuff so like achievements, yeah, achievements ncc sports background name father mother family everything okay. you need to write so the interview starts and usually an interview goes for around for like an hour or so for with each candidate each candidate okay. but in my case the interview uh, ended in 30 minutes okay so i was really panicked from that so w- there are only two cases even interview is really short so there are meaning there are two meaning that he is not eligible enough he is very boring he is not consider yeah. him okay one one is that your he is a as you say he is really boring the other one is he is very smart and it's enough that 30 minutes <laughs> yeah. is feeling enough okay, okay. Yeah, exactly so okay in that he is just going through your personality he knows whatever you are telling to him he has already read in the piq he is not interested in your speaking sir he is he is what is interested in whether you are true to your words okay. he just wants to know and okay. once he get to know that yes he is true that he ends the you know, interaction on spot okay so mm-hmm. my interview revolved around my parents about my friends and about my teachers also like the teachers i like and teachers i don't like as my dad was into logistics i had changed multiple schools so he was revolving more around that key how it affected my way and my upbringing okay so as i had stayed in many states i had the various people into my interactions and i had interacted with different kinds of people all around the india okay it was more into that and he was revolving around some of the questions on sports okay. and my extra curricular activities and you need to be true to your words now okay. if you are writing in your piq that you are really good on some sport as for example football then on the interview first you cannot say that i am good in badminton or correct, so correct, correct, correct. so whatever you write you are you are expressing the same thing in you know, order yeah so that is the thing and the second thing is once you say the statement in front of your assessor that is like you are pulling a line on the stone correct correct you can correct. never change change it's like that. a permanent tattoo now it's like you a permanent change tattoo. that yes okay so if you have told anything and you are regretting later but you cannot still if it is a wrong thing you can accept it that it is wrong and never try to change and uh, you should not defend that. it or you should yeah. not change it never defend it okay. so in defense forces there is a saying that whether you know or you don't know there is no middle of that you correct. cannot loiter between like, them. neither no not i don't know yeah. it should not be an ambiguous one yeah you cannot either you know either you don't know accept you don't know right. even i accepted two three times whether when he was going too deep into the service knowledges i was uh, as i am told the pairing right, candidate right. i was not true, well versed with that knowledge i just told in front with directly i am not not playing around or beating around the bush just like go and be frank to yourself and to the assessor and tell that sir i don't know but i'll get back with the knowledge which you are demanding that way my interview ended so the, the, the day three got ended on they, a personal yeah, uh, psychology uh, uh, personal interview i said so there were many funny elements also in the day three like okay. that personal interviewer was as he was more and more uh, towards my friend and my teachers he was asking which te- which type of teacher you like what are the type of people you socialize with what was your first crush or who who you fall yeah. in love with or not <laughs> yeah they they want to ask questions related to that okay so it depends totally depends on how the way you are speaking correct, and correct. the 
expression they even see your hand gestures uh-huh. whether you are speaking the body speak, language also body language. Verify, okay because they know the entire knowledge about a, how a human body functions when a person is telling the truth true, true, true. or the lie yes okay so he looks into that and there are various factors on which he judges a person okay and finally the day 3 ends so uh, we was the day 3 got ended so hemant swami cracked the day 1 2 3 it's time for us to know what was the day 4 experience sir and he has shared with me already before this interview what are the day 4 and all so uh, i would like him to express this uh, experience of day 4 and now he is going nearer and nearer in getting into nda and he is cracking all the interviews hemant hey, could you please share us what happened on the day 4 okay so after the day 3 interview end day 4 starts early in the morning around at 6 o'clock okay so i would like to say that in the entire screening process it's like a nirvana you okay. don't have your phone you don't have anybody you're not even contact with your family so oh, you can't for 5 days oh. for 5 days you're entirely cut off from the entire world what for you what is for your entertainment is just you can play basketball you can socialize you can play with your friends in correct. the ssb premises only correct so as there are no phones you cannot like true true okay you cannot contact you cannot, you cannot socialize contact with anybody all insta facebook and all gone okay <laughs> no correct. nothing like okay. that so is that way so it is a fun process also as you detox from the all the social media and true, the okay life so that is a good process so day four starts early in the morning you need to go and uh, need to attend for the assembly and you have the breakfast oh will there be assembly there every morning they brief us for the entire day what is going to happen oh assembly they will give you an agenda of entire day that is yeah, you are going day. to this and this okay okay yeah. so what will be the assembly uh, like like you know in a sidhanga also we have assembly in the morning yeah. where we have a national anthem uh, played no, right? there is no nothing what 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 kind of assembly uh, will be there so that way first of all like there is a reason behind that assembly also okay as there are no alarm clock no phones no nothing a person should get up himself and as the washrooms are limited in the ssb and there are 88 members ahead okay so one must get ready as soon as possible so i used to wake up around at 3 o'clock 4 o'clock and i used to take showers and i used to get ready okay so that way it happens so and the assembly is on dot on sharp 6 o'clock all the officer report around at 5:45 and stand over there but you cannot come prior the time or after the time you need to be on sharp on oh, time it's not like that you go and hold on to the seat that no, i have no, come before five o'clock so you are supposed to report it between 5:45 to 6 o'clock yeah exact 6 o'clock the assembly exact begins exact 6 o'clock the assembly starts and the assembly comprises of like a jco comes jco is the junior commissioned officer okay. he comes a brief to the day and he asks whether we did we have any problem in the accommodation of staying if oh, we nice. have any health issues or if you have any problem with the food which are again okay. he just takes a daily check up and he okay. just goes again that way the assembly ends and he take the people for the gto ground now we go and have a break what is that ground called as gto ground gto so the entire day four is called as the gto series what does its full form for gto is group task officer series group task officer group task officer okay in that the person who analyzes us is called as a gto officer mm-hmm. so in that there are a sequence of so once the breakfast is done he takes him to, to the ground and all the gto series done are on done on the ground itself so uh, before series uh, before task are all done in the conference or correct, correct, all correct. but this is the first place where we need to be on the ground and we need to accomplish all the tasks which are like given. an open environment like an open environment right okay. so there are trees there are birds there are obstacles there are stone mud everything so basically they will test you with regards to the physical uh, uh, ability of your service and as i said before we need to be in a proper uniform correct correct so everybody are in dot white everybody need to wear a white t-shirt white okay. shorts white socks white shoes everything must be in white okay and you cannot wear any sort of watches anything no gadgets allowed yes. you, you are just supposed to wear the entire white uniform entire white uniform you are specifying that the reason behind wearing the white uniform white uniform is just they want to check whether a person can legibly wear his uniform which is prescribed okay so one is that ki a person should know what he is asked to wear and why he is asked to wear the reason is ki one to as you are in the ground there is mud and there you need to protect your white clothes as we know that white clothes get dirty very easily true okay so one must keep care of his own uniform and he must not get dirty easily okay and the second thing is setting up that white uniform and looking good in that white uniform is a tedious task <laughs> you need to properly iron your t-shirt okay. you need to be in a proper manner and you need to set that shorts and t-shirts and okay. there should be no strains in that <laughs> so they show that whether a person is really serious into the series which are going on okay so there are the symbolic uh, references why they do those tasks what are the physical tasks that you undergo Could you yeah. give us some example? Yeah, okay. So before coming to that, there are like fourteen tasks in that. Fourteen tasks. So for the whole day, yeah. one four. Okay. So there are fourteen tasks which are simultaneously done in the same day. Okay. So in the first task is that the our GT officer comes and she briefs us. 
so she can be a lady or a gents officer oh, so great. they are officers okay. So uh, in just just, uh, just to interview, just as you mentioned yeah. that there will be a male officer and a female officer. Will there be a, a male cred- candidates and female candidates like you? So yeah, that is a thing which I wanted to say. Now in our case, this is the first time where NDA is allowing girls to come into that. Oh, that's know. great. Okay, it's the first batch. NDA 148. 148 is the first, is the first batch. batch where we have the the boy students also and the girl students. Girl also. Student also. Oh, that's but great. in the SSB acid is the first one. They are not combining both of them. Okay. Because treating and assessing a boy is way different assessing Obviously, a girl. Obviously, that's it true, is, true. There are different aspects and they go through a different lifestyle and we do have a different lifestyle. Correct. Okay. okay. So, both have their both pros and cons. And so, they have kept it different. Uh-huh. So, it happened. In my case, there were entirely boys in the uh, stuff. And you underwent those 14 different kinds of physical yeah. tests. <clears throat> 14. Uh, in the first one goes like there is a discussion among the group. Uh-huh. A group of around 18 members are made out of the 88 screened in. So they allot you that group and that is called as a GTO group. Okay. GTO group 1, 2, 3. There are only like multiple they will make groups. A, a groups like. Yeah. Okay. So as a GTO There will be competition group, among you then? No, no, no. no there there, there like won't be that. any competitions. No, no. Okay. There's nothing like that. There it's like basically the team building. Like yeah, there's a team building. Team building. Like you need to you work exactly. with your group. Whatever okay. group is allotted to you, you need to be to the truest to that group. Okay. And you need to work for that group faithful and not to that for group. Yeah, okay. faithful to that group. Nice. You okay. cannot work for yourself over there. Correct. Like you gotta work as nah, a team. You have to work as a team. Okay. So in the first one, then any random current affair topic is given to you mm-hmm. for the discussion. Okay. Like as we see it as a debate, but it's not like a debate. As we know, the panel discussion which undergoes in many years is somewhat like that. Correct. Okay. So the the group panel, discussions. Yeah, group discussion. What so, topic uh, what was it given to you, if you remember? Yeah. So, for me, the COVID topic was given. Oh, nice. In, so during the COVID situation. Yeah, during the right. COVID situation, COVID was in the current uh, correct, correct. Uh, news. Yes. Okay. They had given me about the COVID lockdown and its pros and cons. Mm-hmm. And another topic was about the artificial intelligence. Okay. As I was into this and I was really... Uh, prior to the SSB, I had... Uh, research about the AI and all and okay. I was really interested into how this functions and all. Okay. So I was like I was really lucky and I was like really happy that this came up because okay. I got a lot of knowledge about this. True true all the news channels yeah. were writing so much knowledge about it and everybody would have watched yeah. it. Covid is like easy sir. True okay. And in this G, uh, group task call uh, sorry I mean to say group discussion also they that uh, task officer put forward two topics. <laughs> one might be a moderate topic like one was the Covid Okay. And next would be any of the higher topic which the information for the candidates is limited. Oh, okay. Like there were two topics put forward. One was the COVID-19 and one was the leather industry. Leather industry. Okay. Leather industry, we know that like the knowledge of the candidates. We can speak only two be sentences limited. about it. Yeah. Okay. Will be limited. But I go, go, went forward and as I had studied for the leather industry, I was having sufficient knowledge, knowledge to speak okay. around nice, for okay. 10 to 50. That worked in your favor. Yeah. I, guess, okay. I went and told forward, let's discuss upon the leather industry. Okay. And even the assessor got to know, as the leather industry is a tough topic, he is initiating this. Correct. Taking a lead. Yeah, taking a lead. So, that is in a plus favor point which uh, uh, makes your, uh, what was the personality in front of that. It it highlights. Highlights you over others. But others went through the COVID-19 and you cannot stand outside, you cannot be a rebel in your group. You cannot quarrel also. You cannot cannot snatch the other uh, opinion also. Others opinion. And you cannot null and void also. Like these are the sub etiquettes of the group discussion, I guess. And that becomes like a fish market, but as I said before, you need to uh, correct, correct, address correct. everybody like a gentleman. True, true, true. You are so polite on your tongue, but inside your deep mind, you are knowing correct, like yeah, he, this yes, fellow yes, is yes. cutting my point again and again. So that was the day three experience. That is a day three uh, No, day four. Day four, I mean. Day four experience. After the group discussion is done, you have the group task officer. In that, you are giving a plank, plank you are giving a pole and you are giving a rope. And multiple obstacles are there. With a group, you need to use that plank and the uh, material which is given to you. And you need to cross from a line to line. Mm -hmm. And you are given a load and a group should work together. And all the sand below, the obstacles are there. That obstacle could be anything like a box is kept. Okay. And the box is half painted in red. Mm -hmm. You cannot stand on the red portion. You can stand on the yellow portion. Okay. It's that way. So, you need to... So, it's basically like a treasure hunt. You see, whenever we have a treasure hunt, so we have uh, some sort of, uh, you know, reasoning or some sort of cracking is there. Then we got to claim or we got to swim or we got to you know, scrawl yeah, yeah. or something and reach yeah. out to the And district. the catch over there is you cannot stand on the bare land. Like okay. if a starting okay. point is there, you can stand behind that. And in middle, you need to consider it as a landmine. Landmine. Oh. It is that yes, way. Okay. You cannot stand. You can only stand on the obstacles. And that obstacle also in, plays in a such a manner that if you use that material in a proper manner, that time only you can cross it. Otherwise, right. you are... You'll no fall pain. off or you'll fall off, right. you'll tip off. 
correct exactly and white clothes are also there yeah, you white clothes are also there. also tidy and clean and the assessor is looking at you continuously you need to initiate and you need to take the material and you need to progress through your way okay. after doing this way it was a bit funny moments also happened yeah. like people are tipping off okay as the plank okay. it is a real plank which is around of 15 kg and is given to us okay. we need to use that as it is really heavy the entire group is should put a collective effort to doing that sir so the group task then multiple similar task goes on got it got it got it and then we have finally gp what does gp stands for was it a day five or still day four day four only day four so gp, GP stands for group pro process Group progressive exercise. Group, group progressive, progressive exercise. exercise. Okay. In that, a uh, entire board is shown to us in which multiple uh, sequence happen, sequence of tasks happen is going on simultaneously. Like a group of people are going. Any of the sequence of uh, it could be anything. Like Correct, an okay. accident is occurring, a bomb blast is happening. Correct. Okay. You need to find the solution with the group. It is the theoretical one. You are just looking at and you are writing the solution in a sheet of paper. Okay. and you need to find the solution and collectively you need to decide that solution in the group and you need to come with one common plan that all can uh, correct 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 usually we have seen this kind of situation when some missions going on yeah, movies exactly, and all exactly. some mission is there when all the group of people will decide and plan that so yahan se enter karega dushman yahan se aayega so that's usually happen that is that is what they want to get the essence of correct okay so they do that and this way all this also and again i was only nominated for the group common discussion of the solution so nice okay <laughs> i was i'm not surprised to know that you are nominated for that event okay on that note i think day 4 got over ladies and gentlemen okay. i think on the day 4 he also cracked it and underwent a physical uh, lot of uh, task guys right? so let us know what is there on day 5 that's the final day where he is uh, going undergoing and going to know that is he going to be one of uh, the nda credits or no when so heaven cracked the the four days let us know what is the final day and what is his experience on a day 5 Hey man, could you please share what happened with you on the day five? That's the final day and the last day, I guess. I think uh, there were a lot of butterflies in your yes, stomach. Yes, totally. Okay. That is the most intense one. Correct. Like you do not have to do anything on that particular day, but the excitement and the fear is on the peak because okay. we know that the four day assessing we had the, done to our best and it is totally in there and on our faith. You have already self assessed that how yeah. you have performed those four days. Totally. Okay. And you cannot even predict it because it is more like a personality test. What you are showing in to the assessor and what he is receiving, correct? That may be a difference. That, According that to you, self-certifying, you yeah. say that you have done extraordinary. But at the terms of their officers, you never know what is the. Some the of my mates were claiming that they had done extraordinarily well, but, but they didn't get selected. Correct. Okay. So this may vary. One may, one cannot claim before the result as correct. it is the most. What to say? The volatile point of correct, the correct. entire selection correct. process. Tell us the salary of the day five. So day five is the same thing. You need to get up early. The okay. assembly is held, and they take you to a uh, conference hall, and you are made to sit. And a person is called uh, line to line, chest number wise. They call. So there is no identity. They don't call you by your name in the entire process. A number is allotted to you, and your identity is that number. Like so, you was mentioning the chest number. Yes. So let us know what is that chest number, Raymond. Chest number is a piece of cloth which you need to. It's a piece put, of a cloth, like an apron. Yeah, it's like an apron. Okay. Which you need to wear over your proper formal. There will be a number over it. And there is all a, the viewers might have seen this in some of the 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 you know the celebrity shows that we come across in the TV, like Indian Idol. There will be a number on that. Yeah. So same thing happened with you. Similar to that. Number. Similar to that. Okay. So the, your identity identity is that. So they call upon by chest number. So chest number one come. Chest number two. Mine was chest number eighty six. Chest number eighty six. So I was among hmm. the very last group. Correct. So okay. like there were total eighty eight got screened in, and I was the eighty sixth member. Okay. So my conference, everybody's conference takes place around for like ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. And the assessor who are sitting also take uh, long breaks between. Two to okay. So after each, they are like taking around half of our, our uh, gap. So and we were sitting from six thirty, and my ch uh, chance came at around three thirty. After no three thirty. Three thirty. So from six so thirty to three thirty, you need to sit in just one place without speaking to anybody. Is that so really? And that too in a proper straight manner. Oh, that's Because great! Oh, you need to sit in the same place. So that is really boring. Really and boring, and you don't have any gadgets also to type up. <laughs> you cannot. Can you sleep down? No, you cannot. You cannot sleep you also. Cannot sleep. So great. Okay. You may just lie down by saying to them because even they understand you. Correct, correct. Your like, back will continuously ache. You're sitting in one place. It is physically tensing for a candidate to continuously sit for so long. Okay. They may insist you to sleep, but still, a person who is sitting over there must have oh, that. He will, he will not get a sleep that he has to undergo a, a that's not interview true. for. That's not. Totally, sir. What was that panel like? You are mentioning that panel. Yeah, sir. So around three thirty, my chance came. I was called upon. So a person is standing in a proper um, uniform, and he opens the door for you. You enter, 
and when you enter it's a dark room oh it's so a dark the, room there's just few lights and you can hardly see the assessor's face oh okay so it's in that manner and all the assessor and those assessor are all the high rank officers which is it okay. they are like wing commander group captain all the good officers and the president of the board will sit over there they are sitting in a semi circular manner and the candidate enter and sit on the chair which is in the middle and there is a small flag which is kept in on the table of the assessor you table mark. yes sir that's like an air force flag and which assessor has that air force flag is going to speak with you okay so you need to even be aware that which person has that flag okay all these small minute yeah. things you should minute be aware of things. okay because that increases your personality in front of that like, like your uh, sir if uh, example like if i i'm watching you and i'm talking to you and somebody else is asking i cannot see somewhere else and talk to you hai na himant No. This way you cannot do that there. You cannot, you cannot. So you got to constantly look at that particular person. As around speak. like ten members are sitting in a U U manner, you cannot look at everybody. So okay. you need to focus at the flag, and the person is flag. That is your final destination. You should just keep focus on that. Okay. They will be still observing you, but still you need to speak upon them. Okay. So in the conference, they may or they may not ask you a question. Usually they do ask a question like, "What? How was your stay?" how was the the recommendation how was the food any of the common basic question okay that on the day five they are not assessing you correct assessing is already done and that is just the final selection whether it is yes or no okay so day five you mentioned me before the this interview we had a conversation about it that the semi circle uh, members of the panel they are all, they are the same people who judge you for the first four days yes sir total and now it's time for them to uh, talk to each other and know about a particular uh, candidate so now they were sharing their experience about heaven swami yeah exactly sir okay so they share uh, uh, you know experience of them and some say yes to you and some say no to you and they will uh, you know cross check what is their opinion karke that's what happened with you on the day yeah, 5 so prior me now all the other candidates they told that their uh, conference was going for 15 15 minutes okay i was really tense like my also will i was expecting in my brain i was thought like a my conference will go for around 10, 10 to 15 minutes. minutes okay but when i went there it just lasted 30 seconds 30 seconds he, uh, yeah it just uh, lasted 30 seconds he okay. just asked me a question and he sent me out so it's like in, you may leave so i think uh, my my view towards uh, your responses guys so this boy hemant was already selected as soon as he got inside uh, all the rest of the panel said oh yeah chalega chalega this person <laughs> is already the name maybe that that was the thing guys sir maybe sir so, so, so after, proud moment for us yeah <laughs> okay so that happened After like thirty seconds, I went outside, and we I went back to the conference. I think other other mates of you might be surprised to see you after thirty seconds. I came they, back so quickly. They might have read that you are rejected. No, this person is rejected. Thirty seconds, me he has been sent out. Yeah, yeah, that was the case. Even I was in my mind also it was hindering me that ki whether why, why they what was the way? reason? Correct. I I knew that there are two. Correct. Yes, sir. Yeah, the no. Hai. Yes, yes. Okay. There is no middle way when there is like a such a short. Correct. Okay. But so I know that the time span yeah. is very very small. So then we immediately start that. Are you selected or no rejected? Yeah, rejected. Okay. That was hitting, and I was having butterfly in my stomach. Okay. So finally everything happened. They discussed half an hour more also. Okay. The total recommended candidates, and they brought up the files. The recommended candidates, Government of India, they have a proper file. Okay. As in now you are going for the 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 the, the day that you have been announced that you are selected or no. So uh, to our viewers, I just want to brief here that the five days experience is done now. So I would just like to recap here. The first year underwent the written test. It was written by the eight lakh students, and out of eight lakh candidates, only eight thousand were selected. And out of those eight thousand, two fifty were made in the group, and he was sent to Gandhi Nagar, uh, Gujarat. And there he underwent the five day test. And now he has finished all the five day tests. Now he is going to share us uh, the, his experience on when the announcement was done that you have finally got selected for the NDA. Let's know his experience on uh, the day it was announced that he is selected. Himan, could you please share that uh, when and how they are going to announce? that you are one among uh, the score who got selected and how many selected i think uh, guys here out of 250 the first day only 88 was 88 were written uh, retained and remaining all were sent out now they are only 88 with you yes, who sir, went 88. on those five days uh, you know what you know screening yes sir so what is the experience on the last day and out of 88 how many got selected you please share us with your viewers sir sure, sir so after the conferencing is done of every candidate they are made to sit in the conference hall okay and then assessor comes and uh, first of all he motivates everybody because he know the result and he know that candidates who are uh, there correct so correct. that it doesn't dishearten the other candidates who okay. uh, unfortunately were not able to make it so they announce the chest number wise when they told my chest number i was numb for like 30 seconds correct you are you are not you didn't have any senses i guess okay yeah so i asked the other recommended candidate so they also had the same feeling correct okay so you are just numb because so your chest number was 80, 86 86 when so the, the announcer says that 
so the selected uh, members are so yeah the selected members are they directly went from 8 प्लेजर इज मोटिवेटेड सो दे They are obviously disheartened because correct, even correct. they are somebody who come to all the eight lakhs out of eight thousand and they come across that. It is and really the students are not selected. Yeah. They'll be motivated and they say that you are not fit for the NDA. You can try for the other options like uh, going for IPS yeah, or IPS you, uh, or other, uh, other uh, uh, you know, services they can join. So friends, uh, I think on that note, uh, we will know that uh, what happened with the next. For some of you who are thinking that oh, Hemant Swami has cracked uh, the NDA now, no. There is still lot of things that he has underwent. He is going to share with all uh, viewers. Friends, now I think uh, he is going to share with us that uh, out of 88, how many were selected finally? Hey, man, could you please tell that uh, you are telling now that uh, how many students got selected for NDA? So out of 88, from my batch, 12 members had got recommended. Did you tell 12? 12 members, sir. Only 12. Only 12 members. Unbelievable. Okay. The recommendation ratio of SSB are really low. Okay. As they don't want to compromise with the quality of officer which they are inputting because correct. correct. Lot of money and hard work is going to be invested in the particular candidate. Correct. So they want the best out of the best. Okay. So that is what they believe and that is how they select the candidates. Okay. So fortunately, I was able to make and my so hard work paid off. Out of twelve, you are one among them. Yeah, out of twelve, I was one among them. After the twelve, lot of form filling takes place, and we are redirected. As I was an Air Force candidate, the I would like to say that the selection ratio of an Air Force flying branch is the toughest among the entire process okay. of other streams of NDA. Okay. NDA itself is tough, but Air Force is a cherry on the top. Okay. It's, It's even, even tougher. tougher. Okay. So that way, after that, I was redirected to Mysore. From Gandhi Nagar, I was sent to Mysore. For just a particular test called as the CPSS test. Okay, CPSS. Could you please tell us what is the full form of that? Yeah. As I wanted to go into the flying branch to become a pilot, so I need to go through a process called as the uh, computerized pilot selection system. Computerized pilot selection system. Yeah. Okay. It's a CPSS test. Okay. It is an entirely uh, computerized uh, test in which there are two tests. One is normal, oral, and verbal. In which the same as I told before, there are questions uh, relatedly. And there are they teach about the all the meters which are in an aeroplane. The meters, I think, for all our viewers, meters. let me just tell you. I think we you might have seen the aeroplane where a pilot is sitting and he will yeah. turn on lot of switches and there will be lot of meters there. Yes. And uh, such kind of test was done on. Uh, they viewer. teaches the working of those particular meters and okay. they have put forward question like if a meter is showing this reading, then what would be the visually the thinking of the airplane? How it would look in the air? Correct. Okay. You need to so that is a bit tough uh, to understand the meter on the first instant go. Okay. so that way heat happens <clears throat> it happens on the so one must clear the normal oral and verbal test to get into the second part of the cpss test okay that is called as the psychomotor test psychomotor test in that psychomotor test there is like a fake cockpit as there is like a real aeroplane for for our viewers let me just tell you like aeroplane is there yeah and uh, the front seat where the driver seat we call that's like a cockpit okay, okay. So there will be a dummy or the virtual cockpit will be there. Yeah, oh, it, it is like a dummy one. It is a dummy. Okay, right. So you have been made to uh, sit into that. Yeah. Okay. So there are like uh, throttle, there are pedals, and there is a joystick in front of you. Oh, there is joystick. Okay. Yeah, there is a joystick. There is okay. a trigger. You have a trigger. Okay. You have multiple buttons. You have a big screen. Okay. You have um, some meters also. You got correct, some switches. Correct. You got some lights. Okay. So there are multiple games you may see, or you may see it as tests which are going to be held. Okay. around 8 to 10 you have 3 3 trial for each and you need to show your best into that okay and the highest score is noted down and that is considered for your final selection in the like it happens in a college sports also like yeah, whenever yeah. shot put is yeah, there you will right, be given exactly. three choices so highest is the one which will be the selected best trial is considered and as, as the your points guys yes that is considered the point so there are multiple tests and that sensitivity is very very high okay. so even if you blew a little bit of the joystick that entire cursor move from uh, one other side to the other end, other end, end to okay. the screen Okay. so that is a bit tough to handle okay. so the reason behind be that being tough is because they want to see the coordination between our hands and our legs correct okay so that way it happens 
So I was basically, you are a computer yeah. science student. If you remember, <laughs> we had a discussion on input output devices, okay. and out of that, I had also discussed with regards to the joystick. Yeah. And there, I mentioned with regards to the games that we play. Yes, but yes. here, it is not a game. It is it is a selection process that he has underwent. Yes, totally. Hey, Mant, you please tell us, uh, viewers, that you are referring. You know what, uh, audience? Whenever we are riding a bike. We know that how much the, is the size of our bike. Yes. You are riding a car, you know what is the size of your car. If you are riding, uh, you know, if you are a driver of a, a train, you know that. But you just imagine that you might have all uh, traveled in the aeroplanes and all. You see the aeroplane is very huge. And a pilot is a very small infant of that. And when he is on uh, riding it or he is on the one who is driving uh, uh, the aeroplane, he, he got to know what is the, the tilt that happens. You please uh, tell us the audience that uh, you are referring about that directions, Hemant. So the direction goes like when they in, in the regards to that meters in the regard to that meter that meter varies on the re, uh, very slightest sensitivity of the air okay because there are many factors working upon the flying of a plane correct okay so there is air there is pressure there is wind everything correct. so that meter continuously deflects okay and the finding the reading out of that continually moving meter and you have to calculate after. also in the mind yeah we need to calculate also true, true, okay. how they it look and in that game test which I was referring to, there are, we are made to wear a noise cancellation headphones. Okay, the big one. Yeah, big ones. Okay. So, and while doing the psychomotor, there is a beep which is coming, a slight beep. Okay. And we need to respond to the beep. Oh, uh -huh, okay. So we cannot even. So I think all your sensors should be alert. Alert. As soon as you hear something, you gotta do yeah, that. Option. We gotta do that. So nice. Okay. So in a, in and all, if a person is good into like there is a coordination between your hand and legs and all your senses okay you may clear that okay after this is called CPSS, psychomotor test yes, it's called a psychomotor test and okay. as it is a computerized test on the spot they the announce results will the also result. be announced and i would like to say cpss is a lifetime one time test uh -huh. and if you fail the cpss test once in your life you cannot never give that again in as in any life. candidate who reached to that the particular test after the 5 day screening a person is sent to the mysu for that attending that test if he fails that particular test on that day he will no longer ever have a chance to write it again in the next year? No, you cannot. So that's that's the end of the story for him, you for cannot the dream of being a pilot. pilot. You cannot ever be pilot in the entire life. But uh, for the for our viewers, let me just tell you a very proud moment here that uh, Heyman Swami cracked that also. Yeah. So how many cracked that Heyman? That's what sir. Ki no, I tell me the number of candidates who cracked that. So that varies sir. As okay. uh, that also I have a story behind that. One son has recommended on 25th February I had my a conference done and okay. I was routed back to my home city. I came back to Davangri. Okay. After being to Davangri, I had my CPSS test to be scheduled on 5th of March. In the Mysore? In Mysore. Okay. And on the same day, I was having my PUC practical examination. True, true, true. I have experienced. I will share that story with all the audience. So, okay. I just shifted because before my, uh, during my SSB interviews only, I was having my practical. But I rescheduled it to 5th of March. Okay. And I got recommended and again, it was clashing. The dates were of the okay. CPSS and my practical date were clashing again. So that was a issue again. So I just mailed them and it happened and I was rescheduled. After a week later, okay. all my 11 mates had undergone through the CPSS. So there were 11 of them who went there for that yeah. CPSS test. 11 of them had went there. Yeah. And I was the only one who came a week later and cracked it and went. Okay, okay. Now how many got selected? How many cracked that CPSS test? Out of those 11 members, Six members had cleared. Only the six. Only so six again, remaining men again gone, remaining all were removed. Oh, unbelievable! Uh, I would just like to share with this. Uh, you know, uh, there is a story that I would like to share with the audience. I, I think is a live example, and I am telling this on record. Uh, you know what? Uh, this boy is in second PUC, uh, Siddhanga College, and during that phase that he was mentioning uh, about the February last week and the March first week, we had our annual practical examinations. And uh, since I am a computer science lecturer, he is a computer science student too. So I was going through that and I know that he had got an exam on a particular date. On the same day, he also had an entrance, uh, that CPSS test. Okay. And uh, I would like to especially mention here that uh, the, the management, the, the JN sir and uh, all the you know brothers and the madam and the principal took a special uh, care about it. They requested, uh, 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 you know what, a local DDPU or the Davangere District DDPU. They requested them mentioning that a particular student is undergoing an NDA examination. Could you please uh, change and interchange the batches so that he can attend? He was not only being made alone as a change, he, the, his entire batch was shifted somewhere else on a day where we didn't have any clashes. And uh, for him, there was uh, uh, the day change uh, practical examination was made. And that's how he cracked it. And uh, just to mention here, he had done very well uh, in the practical examination also. He did not take the NDA as uh, only the, the, the reason for him not perform well. But he has performed well both in practicals as well as the theory. So I think uh, the Siddhanga also was standing behind him 
in doing this uh, aid to you yes, sir, yes. so uh, once that uh, task is over uh, the the cpss test you went back to the uh, place where you are supposed to or what no. was the next uh, thing that happened so after my cpss got done okay so i was so uh, 11 so, were selected yeah. for it okay so no 6 were selected six of the was, cps 6 were selected okay but a medical had to be done for everybody so, so who were uh, selected for was, i yeah. think medical there is again it is not over still it there is again one more one. test is there the medical test medical please test. tell us so i was supposed to report to iam bangalore okay. indian aerospace medicine mysore bangalore okay. on 14th of march okay that date was uh, flexible and 12th of march i had my cpss mm -hmm. as soon as i completed my cpss from mysore i directly went to bangalore okay. and i reported over there so medical is also is a rigorous a medical checkup is done from a tip to bottom everything is checked in detail so they will check your entire body physical entire body, attributes physical all organs body. perfect you know uh, working perfectly or totally not. sir okay and the issue with the flying candidates sir and the medical of the flying branch is even tougher than the different branches correct okay in flying branch they check multiple things which are not checked in others okay like they pay a special attention on the spinal cord of the candidate okay their eyes and their audiometry systems they check uh, uh, multiple times and okay. in the depth and if even a slight issue is found they are temporarily ejected for all the forces okay so, so they will not be allowed for any more so as it in, is like a gamble correct like okay. if you are going for an army medical if you are unfit for army at least you are having a backup option that you can get into the navy correct but if you are playing you are doing a gamble over there if you are medically unfit for flying branch uh, then you are unfit for all the forces oh okay that, that, that is the tough thing sure. So it's not only the mental ability or not only cracking the verbal or English or communication, going under the five days. The, again, after all these, he underwent the medical test. And uh, it's a proud moment here that I would like to mention that Hemant also cracked the medical and all his physical attributes were perfect. I think we should give a credit to his parents and uh, I think Mama especially. Totally. Sir. I think uh, I, she had, she had uh, given you the food, food good food, totally taken care of you perfectly, I guess. Okay. My entire credit of my success goes to my family so and sweet. my friends and my mentors. Nice, nice. Totally. So uh, I think medical got over, uh, over and how this many got selected, uh, cracked, the cleared the medical? Medical, I don't know the exact number but I know how many members uh, who were my close mates okay. who had got. As rejecting medical is really disheartening as you have worked so hard and on the coming on the brink of your selection and on spot you are being rejected that is really painful. Correct, okay. Some of my friends were also rejected so out of like the members who were selected for the flying branch, only five out of twelve, only five were totally fit for flying. So branch. you going to say that remaining seven, I guess, twelve minus yeah. five. The remaining seven candidates' dream of becoming or joining to the NDA collapsed there. Yeah, like of like uh, remaining two three got selected for the ground duty, but okay. others 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 were sent home. Right? It, they were sent so home. Uh, your journey began from eight lakh to eight thousand to yeah. uh, two fifty to two uh, eighty eight. And to 12 and to the remaining one or uh, less than 5 or 6 who got selected. I think we was, uh, I would like to mention here that in NDA which had a three streams that is uh, Army, the Navy and the Air Force. And our, our pride student, Siddhanga student, uh, Heman Swami could finally crack the, 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 uh, the, uh, the uh, Air, Force, medical, Air, Force Air Force Medical. Now inside at this moment uh, he has already got selected uh, for the NDA. Now Heman please tell us that what is the reporting day to NDA, where it is situated. Of which uh, NDA that you are going to? If I am correct, there is only one academy in the entire country True. that you are going to. In the entire world, I would say. The in, the, in the entire world, yes. Because so in the NDA entire world, there is only one India. Yes, <laughs> okay. Go for it. Go for so, it. NDA is the most uniquest. In the entire world, there are different armies of different countries. But the Tri Service Academy only India holds. Correct. And okay. that is the pride of India, I would say. Nice. Because okay. in other countries, there are academies, but they are specified for the each field. They are differentiated. There is no Tri Service Academy. Correct. Okay. NDA is the only Tri Service Academy. Okay. So, that is the good thing about that. And even students from abroad come to participate into the NDA exam. Oh, nice. So, there is a provision for them? That there is a provision for the friendly countries, obviously. Okay. And Not maybe India. maybe the, the residents of the India who might have yeah, gone NRS elsewhere. And all who are Correct. Non-Indian uh, residents, so they yeah, can also totally. participate in it. They can so, participate uh, in it. So, what is the joining date when you are going to India? Where you are going? What is the location? Location of NDA is Pune Khadakwasla in Maharashtra. Pune. Okay. So, it is situated in such a place that it favors the training of all the three forces. Correct. Okay. And uh, my reporting date is July 2nd. July 2nd, you need to be there. Okay. And that is the entire selection process. And what, what would happen with you once you join to the India? As in, uh, what are the uh, you know the, the education wise they are going to undergo? We could you please share us with the audience? Sure, sir. So in NDA there is a uh, basic military training which goes on for the three years. Okay. And the uh, now our designation becomes from a candidate to a gentleman cadet. 
gentlemen credit now we have the appointment of gc we are called as gc like basically now you are gc hemant you are jc gc hemant swami gc hemant swami that's great okay so that is my my prefix which is must added before my name now okay so after a gc is sent inside so there is a basic military training which goes on for 3 years okay with that graduation is done of the gc simultaneously simultaneously graduation is done there will be a training for you in the nda with regards to your physical abilities so yeah, or improving totally. yourself totally and there will be also simultaneously a basic degree basic degree goes on with that okay so the bachelor's degree yeah the for the bachelor's degree and uh, for the flying candidates who are specifically selected for the flying through the regress process, as in you as okay. in me okay i will be made to do the btech degree btech degree so, so engineering get, one what engineering one okay. i'll get the btech degree done okay. and the other candidates of army and navy they have an option to do between bsc and ba they okay. can do any of them the other two streams like navy and uh, the army they can go ahead with the bachelor degree courses the basic ah, science one basic one but since hemant swami has been qualified or selected for the the air force he is going to join in for the btech degree in the in the nda Uh, and uh, there in the btech uh, there will be a stream i guess you are you are mentioning about the stream yeah. i think aeronautical, aeronautical engineering they are going to uh, train our uh, hemant swami there so uh, once that uh, bachelor degree gets over then you will be posted uh, as an officer somewhere could you please tell us uh, yes yeah, sir after the that? bachelor as you know that btech is a four degree uh, four year course correct and bsc and ba are three years okay so all the other candidates of army and navy first of all we are trained together for three years and okay. in the fourth year we are sent, sent to the particular fields for the specialized training okay i'll be sent to the uh, hyderabad okay and i'll convert from gc to fc so i'll become a flying cadet flying cadet okay cadet general cadet yeah no it is a gentleman cadet gentleman cadet sir to flying, flying cadet so great okay so flying cadet in the fourth year there's mostly like sorties we need to fly the plane and you need to do sorties again and again so again. you're going to ride the flight um, jet and all one. So the real one so the real one sir it gives yeah, us the goose bump <laughs> listening to it so okay, great I'll, so you're going to go to hyderabad to undergo that training all right that way so is. once that is done and if you i obviously you will do well there yes, uh, our wishes are there with you thank you so once you uh, get to that then when you exactly become an officer after the fourth year uh, when everything is done there is a passing out parade on the passing out parade you are officially appointed as an officer in the defense forces that is the first rank which air force candidate gets is flying officer flying officer and in the army there is the same thing but the name varies in different forces okay in army it is called as a lieutenant okay and in navy it is called as a sub lieutenant you are mentioning that it is some something equivalent to the the current degree that i yeah so in police services if you want to compare police, it is equivalent okay. to dsp dsp okay so deputy superintendent of police of a district it is equal to that rank which i am going to get you sure going to get how, how many years like in maximum i guess 5 years what sir Five years. I think it will yeah. take for you the five years. Uh, Within four years, I'll get the rank. Just, just listen to this, uh, viewers. Right? Just for after four years, our 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 own beloved uh, Hemant Swami is going to uh, reach to the stage which is equivalent to a DSP, uh, the police service, the the deputy police uh, in charge. It is equal to that. That's a great achievement. I would like to uh, mention here. In fact, our pay scale is more than the DSP. But your pay scale is also more, guys. He is getting the good amount also, guys. Right? <laughs> the amount is uh, just a secondary thing. It is but, secondary uh, thing, obviously. But still, but still, still, it matters for us. now i think we got to know that uh, he is going to be uh, uh, that uh, the flying uh, credit officer so uh, he is going to join in the navy and uh, he is going to really have uh, flying the the fighter jets and all and uh, he also mentioned that his uh, you know designation will be equivalent to a dsp a dysp so after that uh, he is finally going to be uh, what uh, uh, taking care of our own country when side that's really a, a proud moment himan who do you uh, owe this success to like uh, could you please uh, share with our viewers that who do you uh, owe this success I totally owe my success to my family. Correct. Okay. So I had worked hard day, line, day and night long. I know that how much I had struggled in my preparation for the entire process. But in not in a direct manner or an indirect manner, my parents had supported me really. That's so true. my father's name is Mohar Singh. Morning and all, as we know that India requires physical also. I used to go for morning jogs and I used to have the physical. Even on the morning at five o'clock, I would say he would pick me and he used to drop me. Correct. Okay. On his own bike, and he himself used to. Whenever I used to, I'll go by myself. He told no, and he used to put me. So this motivated me as he used to work so hard for me. Correct. He has to go to his office. He has his own chores to do. But since he's putting his extra efforts toward me, the, that I owe to him. Correct. So Correct. that is the totally. And coming to my mother, she used to love me. And my mother's name is Roshni. Roshni. Yeah. So the Roshni means the spark of light, ladies and gentlemen. I totally. Think we can she see is the spark can, of light. We can. We can see on the Hemant face also glowing so much light. Yes. Sir. Go ahead. so she used to uh, take care of me she used to love me she used to uh, indirectly uh, feed you the proper feed, food the protein is so proper 
and i used to work night uh, day and night long and uh, there were some days when i used to cope up with the puc syllabus and my nda correct correct i used, correct. I used to work the ni- full night long i did not used to sleep in nights correct so she you, she also used to wake up with me so while she does not have work also but she she loved me so much she used to wake me up and morning as soon as i get up she used to boil me milk and she used to do lot correct, of chores correct, also correct, correct 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 and coming to the real ones who had supported me that is my elder sister Older sister, okay. So How many got, siblings you are together, all together? I got two elder si- uh, elder sisters. And you are the only son? I am the only son. I am the youngest nice. one among the three. Nice, nice. You are the son to your parents and there is only one son that exists. Right? Son. Okay. We are referring to S-U-N and S-O-N. S-O-N, sir. Okay, so nice. So, my elder sister name is Pritam Swami. Okay. And another elder sister name is Monu Swami. So, they both are currently in Delhi and they are also pursuing their higher education. Okay. My sister, like when for preparing during the written examination, my sister first, she used to stay with me only. Okay. As the DU college is open, she went away. Okay. So, both your sisters have supported you as both well. Both have supported me. When I used to study, there there is some point when you have... I cannot do it anymore. Correct. Okay. At that time, and it is so mind draining while solving the problems and while preparing for the written exam that I used to have moments when I used to think of giving up. Giving up. Okay. Okay. So that moment, my sister used to support me and used to motivate me a lot. Whenever the I motivation had, was like helping you to solving it or uh, just uh, motivating like motivating me and also helping me in okay. solving. Your your entire Both family is very intelligent enough, I guess. They they do <laughs> so so great so great. We have a competition between each other that who that's so nice. The, like, yeah. That's yes. a thing. Okay. healthy competition, I would say. Nice nice. So she used to help me sort of question. And coming for the SSB processor, my elder sister, she is preparing for a SBI PU exam. Okay. Which is Intel. It is a very tough exam and it requires a lot of effort. But she had put a collective effort in my selection as well. We used to discuss all the stories and everything for 4-4 four, four hours straight on a single call. Nice, that's right. We used okay. to work a lot together and she used to motivate on me on the entire journey. Correct. So that way, she... So your uh, entire has, family has supported you in totally being uh, your success. Uh, I owe my success to them okay. as they owed, uh, they had put their efforts and their hard work toward me. So I think that I would pay back uh, correct, in this nice, manner. Nice, 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 nice. So this way, sir. So this way, my family supported. Apart from my family, my college management also supported as we know that Jain sir, as when I joined, I was uh, in my 10th, I was in Mysore and I came to Daungi for my PUC board. So when I came over here, I didn't knew that Sidganga is an integrated college where okay, they okay. teach about the NEET and JE also. Okay. I was sure that I had to do NDA, so I do not want to get into these streams. So I went to Jain sir and we sat for an hour or so and I discussed him and I told all the possible Outcomes which can happen doing so. Correct. Okay. So that guy, I would say that he is a really great person. Okay. He understood each and every point what I was trying to say, and he collectively thought, and he we also debated a few points. Okay. Like what to do. So when I finally told that I I put forward my letter and I asked him for a leave, because I used to study day and night long, and I it required that way. Correct. Okay. I put forward my leave as the COVID period were also going on. True, I was true. studying. Okay. But I wanted some more leave, so I just put forward my plea and he accepted and he was so great. I remember the principal, principal and all totally. and academic in charge used to have the, the discussion. They do so this particular student was uh, you know, given some leave. Surprisingly, when the midterm exam happened, I was the person who got the highest percentage in the entire Yeah, college. yeah, yeah. That was, that was true also. And I would what, like to uh, put this up on record. Uh, in the process of uh, going and preparing for the NDA, he did not deteriorate his study with academics in Siddhiganga. He was standing good and he's still done well in the annual examination also. I think on that note, uh, I think we had a wonderful uh, uh, chat with this. I think on this note, uh, this is a wrap. But before we could uh, sign off, I would like to uh, give a small present to uh, Hemant Swami. I think uh, I bought it here right now. Hemant, uh, there's a small gift for you. I think you totally deserve it. And there, no gift in the world can ever uh, you know, match up to your legacy. Now, from the entire staff, the entire Siddhiganga people, from the management, the three brothers, our beloved madam, and our beloved principal and the direct, you know, academic in charge, all the lecturers and everybody, I think, here. And God bless you. I think you are going to have lots of wonderful career. Uh, uh, it's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I had a wonderful time uh, interacting or having a conversation with the one and only Heyman Swami. I think uh, until with the next inspiration story, this is your host, Nafi, sir, signing off. Thank you very much for watching this. And uh, I, I invite all of you to get inspired. There is, no, there is not only, only CET or NEET or engineering. There are a lot of wonderful fields across the globe. I think all of you can aspire for. I think thank you very much, Evan Swami. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. So thank you everybody for listening to this. And I hope that one day even you'll be sitting in my place interacting with Nafi, sir. Yes, yes. That, that is always, I'm always there for you. If you ever achieve anything, we're always there to glorify it.
I think uh, I wish all the best to everybody all the aspirants thank you so much thank you very much I think on that note it's a wrap ladies and gentlemen until we meet you next time with the next story this is an officer signing off <laughs> jai hind तुझ में लाखों की है